it somewhere where they actually have strawberry um, and Quantro. Yeah. Get that with a blue moon. It's really good. What's See, that? I don't really drink blue moon. Quantro and blue moon. You love blue moon though. You really love blue moon. Mm -hmm. I don't love blue moon. It's just, it's just what Come I on. get. It's I love blue I moon. See, at least he's gonna admit. It's like me saying I love Miller Light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Same here. Do. Or like me loving, you know, Dortmund. Wow. Oh. Barry Weiss is pretty good too. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Atlanta Google. Fucking What's up, dude. guys? Welcome to Leviathan's Gaming's first ever games cast. I'm your host, Eric Webster, alongside my good friends. We got Chris Setters. Let's go, boss. It's pretty good. All right. Pretty good. <laughs> Long hit side, we got Roman Atori. What's going on, Roman? How about you? <laughs> that is a new thing. And last but not least, we got Matt Campbell. Zip. Zip. Or Matty C. Matty C. Matty C. Matty C. As they call it. Actually, actually, that came. One more time. <laughs> Are we I, really doing this again? I'm in threes. I'm in threes. If you only say it twice, you have to say it one more time. Actually. You. I'm sorry. You're what welcome. welcome. Actually, what were you going to say? We found this website that generates rap names. It's rapnamegenerator.com. We all have to do it. <laughs> Professor Maddie C was the first one that came up for me. I'm like, that's it. So why didn't you go with that one, then? Maddie C is just... I don't, I don't know. So, what like the game's cast but... is, is pretty much we talk about the nerdy shit you want to hear topic by topic, day by day, until we post the whole video on Friday. If you want it early, you can get it early. If you go to patreon.com slash Gaming, you can get the whole topic or mp3 early if you so choose by throwing us money and supporting our dreams. So, I figured we'd just jump right into the topic. With topic one, what's the first game that you really connected to? I have to say, because I just got done playing my favorite game, not Halo, oh, not Halo, but Metal Gear. <laughs> Metal Gear, when I first played it on the PlayStation, PS1, mind you, was fucking epic. Like, it, it made me realize that games were going to be a thing. Yeah. Like, it was just, it was very, it played like a movie, and the story was just so fucking good. Like, just, I mean, have you guys played Metal Gear Solid 1? The first one yeah. I have not played. What? I feel What's terrible. <laughs> You you should Sorry. feel terrible. You're bad. And you should feel bad. <laughs> I I barely ever touched the PlayStation One. I was still playing Super Nintendo. See, I was never a Nintendo kid at Nothing all. Nothing wrong with that. Really? No, not really. But like, I mean, really, with Metal Gear, it was fucking cool because, I mean, just different scenes. It made you feel fucking emotion. And games I feel before then didn't really have that connection. Really, Metal Gear was really the first game I felt where it was like, holy shit. Like, the scene with Sniper Wolf, I'm sure if you guys probably seen that with Hal going, like, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. It, like, yeah. it brought tears to your fucking eyes. Like, it was that. like in the, with the That was, like, the most bro look. way to say that. Exactly. Fuck, man. Brought tears to my eyes. It really did. <laughs> like, I mean, it was crazy because no game did that before. And it was just like, man, you felt something for these characters. These polygon-looking fucking characters that you thought looked real and fucking lifelike. When you look at it now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that was my game. I'm like, I'm fucking obsessed with Metal Gear. Like, I, with this new fucking one, it has to be. I'm gonna hold off on it because I, I really wanna play Fallout first. But it's close between this and Fallout for Game of the Year. The game just plays fucking phenomenal. Like, every time you play, you don't run into roadblocks at all. Yeah. Like, you do what you want to fucking do. And that's fucking awesome. You can you, send sheep to Mother Bay. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can fucking abduct sheep. Abduct little rats, if you so choose. You Whatever you them. want. And just fucking send it to Mother Base, and they're like, "Cool, <laughs> boss." <laughs> I I have no idea why you sent us a sheep, but I like, mean, okay, sure, we're open up yeah. a zoo, boss. In reality, the the guy who just brought the rat goes in the bag, like, "Okay, he um brought a rat," and he's just like, "Like, why the why? fuck did he buy a, brought a rat? Like, why a fucking rat?" Because the one lonely study. guy is like at the end of the oh, game, rat. you call upon the vault and they send you an army of rats to finish off. God, that would be so the last epic. Person. That'd be like the secret boss. 
just a fucking like, army of rats. Ten million <laughs> rats just come across and just <laughs> golf like, the have planets. Have you guys seen like gameplay of it though? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like okay, because it's fucking sick. It really is. But I mean, I'll save more on that for our next topic. Yeah. But what I, would you say that yours is, Matt? Me. This is really there's a very. I don't want to say a very small fan base for these games, but the first game that really, really got to me was on the PlayStation 1. Okay. It's on the PlayStation 1. Cool. Representing the PlayStation Still 1. Still a huge fan of the series. Oddly enough, the next one coming out, I'm not crazy anticipated for, but I am. Yeah, the anticipation is real right now. It's... It's oh my god, Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, I'm gonna catch. To I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna catch hate for that because <laughs> everybody's gonna say seven. Yeah. Everybody's gonna say Final Fantasy seven. But for me, eight was the first one that I played. I did not play seven first. Seven's amazing. Don't get me wrong. See, but I, I was never into Final Fantasy. Oh my god, they're the best. Like I tried playing seven back then, but I was more into the, you know. Yeah, I can never get that. Sure. But I, yeah. I never liked turn-based games that much. I just, the only turn-based so I like it. is Pokemon on the Game Boy. Fuck yes. You're not Pokemon wrong. That turn-based I will that. take all day. But, like, no, when we, um, because we lived together in Bowling Green, and they, they gave me, I know a lot of people don't like it, but, like, Final Fantasy thirteen, they gave it to me to play. I fell asleep playing the game because I got so bored playing it. Oh, God, yeah. 13, like, like I like. It wasn't the game, it was just the fact that everything moves so slowly. Yeah, like, I just, I don't like having to hit one person and then walk yeah. back. At least yeah. in Pokemon, it was one on one. Yeah. Final Instead Fantasy, like it's three times. on one, and it's just back and It's forth. like, oh, it's an epic battle. Yeah. Come on. I can't even remember how long it took me to beat that game. And here's the thing, those games were <laughs> super fucking long. I can't even oh, describe like the Final to you. Final Fantasy games are fucking long. I think it's, and I know I dropped the game same, for a while. Same with fucking Final Fantasy thirteen because I tried playing that, and I really tried playing that game. Because I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm really going to try to get into it. The story seems okay, and I want to know what happens. Ten hours later, still fucking hated it. Then everybody's like, oh, it gets better 20 30 hours in. See, that's what Fuck sucks. That shit. That's what sucks about what Square did to the game. They changed everything. It's like, oh, you gotta keep playing. You gotta suffer through it for 30 hours, and then the game gets better. Nope. Not fucking doing it. See, that that was my opinion on Destiny. I have to play this or level to do something That was else. the old Destiny. Yeah, no. I was so well, biased. Like, seriously, Destiny. though, that, that was the old Destiny. Yeah. I was so biased with Final Fantasy at that point, though. I just, I but played it, and I, I liked the whole game. That fucking new one, though. 15? See, that's what I was talking about. Like, I... When they, when they like, revealed uh, Versus 13 a couple of years ago, and then they, you know, it was it turned into 15, and everybody freaked out. Like, that was, that was amazing. And that was my most anticipated game. And then a year later, they're like, oh, Fallout. Mm-hmm. Oh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, this, oh, that. And it was, like, so overshadowed. I barely cared. I played the demo. And it's fucking awesome. It was really cool. I'm still highly anticipated for it, but like it's gonna be cool. When is that supposed to even come out? Like next year? Fifteen? Yeah. Uh, I think next year sometime. They haven't really said. They, oh, they said that they're gonna announce a date. I think in March. Oh yeah, which means it'll be out next fall. <laughs> probably, probably next. <laughs> it'll fall. be out next fall. They're like, there's too many fucking games, and but, that game um, looks like it's not ready. Yeah. That's the the thing with fucking Square Enix. They take forever to make games. It's funny. It's like Square's. Blizzard actual to make games. first party Blizzard. <laughs> literally okay have you guys seen the news for fucking um kingdom hearts shit don't even get me started which that's that's, all that's bit, up there on my just, list too i just saw it and kind of skimmed over it it's like okay so they announced what there's a like 18.2 or like something stupid it's they two, have like weird it's 2.8 so it's basically 2.8. they basically rehashed 2.5 and they're putting it on the ps4 but they added birth by sleep and then there's like a it. dream drop vid- dream drop distance was on the 3ds so now that's going to be playable on the ps4 <laughs> they have some weird ass fucking names i swear to god and it's like i don't know what the fuck's happening with that game i want to try it but They're i don't know where the fuck i love try it. i love kingdom hearts because i don't have my you know old systems anymore so i'm waiting for them to do a hd remake which i thought they were going to do with this one but then they're like oh no we're just going to do 2.8 Bundle yeah, if it would have had one and two on it, then 
great. I still say Blizzard. It takes longer. Just be, there is as many Blizzard games. Blizzard just, yeah. That's but, the thing. They like, don't have a lot of about, games. But if you talk about ones like Diablo or StarCraft. Yeah, Blizzard doesn't have crank like out a, games like somebody's they business. Have a, because they take like 10 years to, play, to put them in. <laughs> that's true. But like that's the thing. They just By the don't time have you go through series, you're 30 and having a kid. I mean, are they... Funny. Are they gonna make another fucking StarCraft? Yeah, the... yeah, it's come out Legacy of the Void. Oh, like, do you mean like that. not the expansion, but StarCraft Three? Yeah. Oh, probably. Uh, I'll, I mean, I'll probably be thirty-five or forty by the oh, time. Oh, so they haven't out. even came out with the, <laughs> but, the fucking next DLC no, for it. No, Legacy is coming out the next, uh, next sometime month. Yeah, in October. Right? Sometime working, in October. We're still working on the expansions for that game. It's every year. It's been coming it'll out. Be a, the expansions it'll... come out every year. The games themselves come out every decade or so. <laughs> But no, I can't wait because Protoss is my favorite I, ice, and I really want to play. Also, it. it's Protoss. Legacy not... of the Void. Yep. Mm -hmm. The end. I of thought the Protoss came out last year. No, that, that was, was Swarm. Oh, part of the Swarm. Part of the are See, I big. liked fucking Starcraft, but I dropped off so bad. I dropped off because I sucked at it. Well, I was doing good for a little <laughs> bit. I think we kind of. I know you had a better computer at the time, but like me and you and Brandon played it. Yeah. We didn't have a computer for it. Now See, I that's the thing. Like, it. I had a good computer, and I'm like, man, I have nobody to fucking play with. So I stopped playing it, and then they get a fucking new computer, and everybody's playing this game, and then I stopped fucking <laughs> playing it. I tried to get back into it, and I fucking sucked balls because I don't remember how to fucking play it. I told you to get Harley Storm. You never did. I told you it was 10 because bucks and go get it. I suck at the game now, and I have no time. To fucking no, relearn the you know what you know what I suck at a game, entire genre that I cannot understand, MOBA games. What the fucking hell? MOBAs. What is up with the MOBA I rage? Tried, I like, like what okay, is League of Legends? This good is lord. A good fucking shout out. Fucking kind of funny guys. Anybody that plays a fucking MOBA is a fucking nerd. That's what they said. Anybody that plays a MOBA is a fucking nerd. Because it's the fucking truth. What the hell is going on with that game? It's just popular now. League of Legends. Like really I don't understand the point. Out. I tried to play that fucking Smite on the Xbox. Smite. No, I can I got, get into. I can't even get into Smite because it's like, what the fuck is happening right now? You're going around and you're doing all this shit. It's favorite game. It's not my favorite, but I've been, I've been You understand it that fucking chaos? Yeah. I got into it. I was playing it with it's him, and I'm like, hey, this explore. is cool. It's like he, League of Legends. There's like, there's like ten thousand things to do. See, I can't even do League of Legends. League of Legends has a lot more to it. Yeah, League of Legends made my brain it. hurt. Because he tried to get me to get into Smite it. Smite is like the dumb version of League of Legends. Man, I must be a but, fucking idiot. Like because League I can't get into there Smite. Is, there is like a third of the stuff that you can put on for gear. And I mean, there's still a lot more characters, but there's not, not much strategy there is to Smite like it is League of Legends. It's funny. In League of Legends, I one of the things I just I hate about the game is the community. The community in that game is so brutal. I like the first time I got oh, online, I like rushed into battle and died or something. And I thought they were gonna like burn me at the stake and find me at my house they, and like. You know what? Communities I'll... sometimes suck, and this may be a good topic for next time. It's just fucking bad communities. And online communities. Online communities. <laughs> I think it's. Trouble with. I think it's gotten better, but it all depends no. on what game. It do. well, depends think, on what game you play. You know, what, I really play. think PC is where, like, the communities are really harsh. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, I remember playing fucking Battlefield after, like, not playing with a mouse and keyboard in a while in a first-person shooter, <laughs> and they fucking yelled at me. They're like, Killer Fox, get the fuck out of here. I will say, since we're not going... <laughs> we're going for another time... Yes. ...that I will say the community, as far as the negativity and the brutal um, comments, have gotten worse over the years. That's true. Because people if got you more think back, well, when you like was really strong community, especially with, for me, like I play Halo too, and I'm sure a lot of people did, and the community was fantastic. Oh, yeah. It was, it was like you got you got awesome. off of school, but you're like, oh, how was your day going? All oh, good stuff. And you know, if you did bad, like, oh, it'll be next time. You know, everybody's good like, game, fuck off, be, kid. Yeah, now it's like, what in the hell? Is that even a controller in your hand? Are you playing with a guitar? From Guitar Hero? It's like... Well, that's the thing, though. Like, now they added these is. fucking connects and, like, just weird-ass fucking mics. So you get a lot of background noise Yeah, then you hear everyone's life So you hear everybody's by. fucking, like, chaos that's going on in their life. I'm surprised they never came up what? with a new... <laughs> Feed your <laughs> baby! <laughs> Feed your fucking kid! <laughs> Who's crying? <laughs> you hear, like, a... You hear, like, a... Mexican family of like 12 there's like 12 people in the house right yeah, there's like really. five kids crying then you hear somebody fucking having sex is there even is there a mute option for connect and people <laughs> just choose not to hit it yeah well yeah. no that's the thing you can hit so it doesn't fucking but no one do does that no, no one, no one does it <laughs> well, that's no one does it. Say it. it automatically enables yeah. so nobody knows how to fucking disable it 
So if you don't know how to disable it, you go to fucking settings and connect, and it says record mic for game audio, you fucking uncheck that shit. And then you will do the whole community a favor. Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking directly at you. Thank yes, you. you and the camera. Boom. So, Roman, <laughs> what video game was you, were you really connected to? Um, it's there, There's different ones just throughout how I've grown up because, like, I would play Zelda or Mega Man or even Donkey Kong Country and Super Nintendo. Um, I always create my own little rage here and there. Um, Conquer. And then, like, Conquer. on the N64... I'll play, we, me and my cousin would play for hours and like, um, I'm not a wrestling fan really, but we played WWE No Mercy oh God, for yeah. days yes. and days. <laughs> and like create characters for like two hours and then <laughs> play all night. There's something special with wrestling games. That's, like there really is. It's so great. And they go on the like the recent ones that come out a little bit better. But like, like since the thing, then though, it like, kind of went down. I got 2K, oh, not 2K, what? Is it like WWE 2, 2K. 2K15 yeah. or yeah. whatever it's called now? Okay. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. I want to get the new one. Like, it's cool. Like, it's all like you know, graphically fucking crazy, and beating the shit out of people. But but UFC is so much better. True, but UFC is amazing. So I think like games like that, like then I can move on to like Halo Two, and so like is this? It's not really having connecting to games. Like there is games that like I love the story to them. Well, I mean, but it's just it's the experience. It's community of just playing with other friends, and that's. Really it's like how, and they're kind of even kind of go away from that. Even with like the new Halo, there's no split screen anymore. Oh yeah. So I'm like, yeah, we don't. There's online That's play. Sad. We don't do it as often, but it's nice to have the option. It's and weird. now the option's being taken like, away. From that me. really is sad. I hate to see shit like that. Yeah, like like I, I never, I haven't done a LAN party in <laughs> months. But still, like months, that, that was the whole thing. Like if you have the a option whole bunch of friends over, it's just terrible. Like if you have a whole bunch of friends over, it's like, oh, you know what, shit, let's play some Halo. Can't fucking do that now. Now you need eight TVs and eight Xboxes. Yeah. You still want to do it. Or, you know, just four Xboxes for the fucking co-op because there's no split-screen co-op either. Yeah. Which is insane. Which, like, I understand the whole need to, like, get rid of split-screen just because, it, you know, games get more fucking graphically and these fucking systems can't handle, but you know, you four think fucking things running at the same time. But shouldn't shouldn't it cut to that point? I mean, split-screen well, shouldn't be that Well, you would think these, these systems, though, are so underpowered if you really think about it, compared to like you know anything on the PC right now, they can't handle all these fucking graphics that they're trying to push. Well, that's what they should do, mate. Like, I, I mean, honestly, I mean, people aren't gonna like it because they don't have to update their system, but to keep up with how there stuff is be going, like customizable there should be things, like upgradable stuff. I mean, you don't need to make it crazy expensive. Like, you need to get like a thousand dollar graphics well, card. More like the Steam box, yeah. like what the Steam box will supposed to be, where like you know you start with this base and it's like it's good. But then when once, you know, new shit comes out, you can put pieces in. That's sure. how I thought the same box was going to happen. And I'm like, oh, shit. That's what the this is gonna going to kill, you know, the consoles. Nope. I was wrong. Because when the three, when, before Xbox One or PlayStation 4 <clears throat> came out, um, there were some games like the new, like, Halo. I know it, Bungie was on top and 343 were constantly saying it, that this is as much as we could possibly do with the new system just because it's starting to overpower it. And now there's games already be like, we can't do this because the system's too overpowered. The well, system's been out for two and a half years, and you're already having this problem. See, the that's thing a, is, that's an issue. They don't. It's partly that, and partly they don't know how to fucking optimize. I like how I looked at my clock it. and look at the years. <laughs> it's, it's been two and a half years. It's been two and a half years. A couple minutes. <laughs> but uh, no, years. seriously though, it's yeah. it's to that's the crazy. fact where these these you know games don't know how to fucking optimize correctly yet. And Think again, about, but, like, you know, the 360 and the PS3 generation where the games looked okay, but then they were talking about, like, oh, we've hit our max, whatever. Ch take Uncharted, for example. He's, Uncharted 1 came out on the launch day. It looked fucking awesome, you would thought. Yeah. And then, you know, as it progressed in console generation, they learned how to tweak the settings to get more out of the system. That's exactly what's going on here. We're going to really get off topic, but it's... It, <laughs> I'll give them benefit. I'll give them... You know, doubts that it's hard to constantly do that. I mean, you're competing against play a PCs that now typically have the same games as consoles do, and you're either going to get one a group of people who are going to complain because the PC it looks a lot better and runs smoother compared to a console, but then you they start doing that in the system, then people are going to start complaining. Have to invest more and more money to keep up with everything. Shit, just look at there's VR. Just, there's two there's two sides of the coin of everything. Yeah. And, 
Just, I mean, just look at VR. Like, I mean, this is going to take over shit, honestly, too. Like, honestly, it'll suck it's for, like, amazing. younger people and their parents having to pay for more stuff. But I'd rather have something that's going to constantly work. That and then just last. So yeah. you don't have to worry about, up, like, you know, being out of date. Like, that's what I hate with the consoles, even though I have every fucking console. It's just the fact that, you know, once you bought this, like, the PS4 and the fucking Xbox One... They're already out of date. The PlayStation, the PC already has better fucking graphics, better fucking everything, as always. And I'm even because, worried if I go back to a system it doesn't work anymore. Like, but that's the thing, though. I have a PC that can fucking run everything, but yet I don't want to fucking play it on the PC because of trophies and fucking achievements. <laughs> well, I don't care about those anymore. That's another <laughs> fucking topic. We can put a pin in that one, too. <laughs> yeah. So, Chris, yeah. what game really connected to you? you have one it's always been madden madden back home it was madden and only madden beer pizza and madden beer like, pizza and madden. literally like <laughs> sounds like a good night like like as soon as madden came out like you had to get it you had to get good real quick i remember back then me and my brother always fucking playing madden well not really madden oh. the ncaa games Okay. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? I mean, yeah, like like it, it NCAA just like the games. entire EA franchise on football. That's literally like because it was just it was a fun game to play with friends. Yeah. Just again, like, but even, split screen. Yeah. Well, it technically, it wasn't split screen. <laughs> yeah, it's not split screen. I mean, granted, like you can kind of see their plays when we're playing. Like, no, yeah, I mean, try to secretly hit X but, so you can hit like, your everybody own don't look. Right, like at the time, like I'll be like. uh... Like, just kind of switch it real quick. Kind of hiding, but you know how it is, but... But yeah, I mean, it. Madden's always fun, though. Like, even though I don't really care about football that much... It's just fun to just... It's fun to play. It's a relaxing game. Well, I mean, it can be. It can be Depending on who you're playing. (laughs) Like, if you're playing against a bot on Rookie, (laughs) relaxing type of game. 107-26. Like, this stuff's intense. But then if you're playing (laughs) against, like, you know, friends and shit... (laughs) <laughs> Mostly Chris, but then yeah. shout Clown. out to uh, some Mike McDavid yeah. killing him with the fucking Browns against the fucking 49ers last year. Uh, that was fucking awesome. <laughs>